over your hands. And then lift the tailbone up, bend the elbows in towards the rib cage, lift the chest and push back. So it's like a little back bend. We'll do that a few more times. So rounding forward like the crest of a wave, space between the shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, slowly lift the tailbone, separate the sitting bones and draw the hips back. We'll do that another couple of times, rounding forward, inhaling, and then drawing back as you exhale. Rounding forward, inhaling, and drawing back as you exhale. So this is the movement that's going to lift us into downward dog in our flow. So we inhale to come forward and then exhale, lift up Mula Bandha and that movement will lift your knees off the ground and lift your hips into the air. And when you get to downward dog, you might decide to bend your knees, lift your hips up and back. If it's a bit too strong this morning, you can come back down onto your knees. And we're going to come through little flow. So bringing the knees back down for a moment and just sway your hips from side to side. So again, take the weight off the wrists, feel that kind of sense of release in the sides of the hips and the lower back. We're just going to see how strong the body feels today. So draw your feet back and come into a plank position. And again, just kind of testing out how strong are your thighs today, shifting the weight forward and backward. And then just drop your head down, turn onto the sides of your feet. So as you turn to the side, if it's too strong, bring your knee down. If it feels okay, turn to the side and use your heels to press down, activate the thigh muscles. So the heels press down, and then the heels press down. And if you're feeling kind of quite powerful today, the other arm might lift up and over your head. But if you're staying on the knees, that's absolutely fine. You just take the arm up and around like that. Then we're going to come all the way back down to the ground. So at some point, your knees will gently touch, and then the tummy, and then the chest. And when you get there, we're going to come into that serpentine cobra. So let the body land, first of all. And then as you inhale, roll one shoulder up, and then the other shoulder. And if you do this quite slowly, you give your back a bit of a massage, which in morning practice can feel like you're sort of untying. <laughs> and then in evening practice, this movement can feel like you're kind of releasing all the stress of the day. So we do that a couple bit more times, rolling one shoulder and then the other. Really close your eyes here. Doesn't matter what it looks like. And then roll back down again. So here's our opportunity in the flow to have a rest. Bring your hands in front of you like a little pillow and rest your head down. Or we can come into setting up for Shalabhasana so you can reach your arms back. And you can start to press the feet down, bring them together if you can, and then lift your upper body up. And your arms are heavy here and then you start to lift your arms, maybe take the hands off the ground by pressing your feet down. And breathe in here. And then as you breathe out, lift up through the lower belly and draw the heart forward. And then slowly come back down. So now take the hands under the shoulders. And we're going to push up gently into cobra. And then tuck the toes. We're going to come back into that active child's pose. And then we round forward, chin to chest. Roll the shoulders forward over the hands. And then again, the tailbone lifts as you catch the wave coming back into downward dog. And from your downward dog, find any position that works for you. Bend and straighten your knees. If your muscles are a little bit tired, just take it easy. Go slow and gentle. And then starting to walk your feet towards your hands. Your hands towards your feet, whatever feels comfortable. And when you get there, just kind of let the body hang down. You can bend your knees as much as you like. You can sway from side to side, hold your elbows. You feel your shoulder blades just gradually loosen away from the ribs. And then release your hands if you've got them. Bring your feet so they're parallel underneath your hips and have a softness through your knees. 
So the water flow, we're going to take our arms forwards and up. And the arms are kind of sort of heavy. You're going to inhale to lift up. And then bend at the knees. And as you exhale, just sink down. And do that again. Inhale, bend at the knees, come all the way up. And then as you exhale, just melt down. If you feel a bit dizzy, just go halfway. Inhale again. Exhale down. And do that once more. Breathing in, lifting up. And then breathe out to come down. So this time we're going to inhale to lift up. And then sink the hips down, turn the palms together, come to Utkatasana. Just reach forward with the baby fingers, but draw back slightly with the shoulders. Pulse a tiny bit here where you lift up, check out your toes. And as you exhale, draw your hips back so you can see your feet. Take a big breath here. And then as you exhale, just let one arm swing back into a gentle twist. Inhale back to centre. Exhale, other arm swings back. Do that twice more. So breathe into the centre. Breathe out, just let the shoulder release. Breathe into the centre. Breathe out, let the shoulder release. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So lift all the way up now. Lift your heels if you can. And start to circle your hands and we'll wobble. Bring your hands all the way back behind you. And for the first round, you just hold on to your lower back and then drop the heels down. Roll the tailbone down and then lift up through the chest. Start to draw your shoulder blades, elbows together as you lift your heart up. And then as you exhale, root down through the heels, strong thighs, soft back bend. And as you inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, bend the knees and fold. As you're ready, inhale for a halfway lift. Bring the left foot back as you exhale, gently take the knee down. So as you breathe in, you're going to lift the arms forwards and up. And then as you exhale, just circle the arms gently back behind you. And now you can either hold the back or if it's comfortable, interlace your fingers. And then just gently ease your hips forward. So no crunching in the lower back. Use your tummy muscles to keep lifting. So it feels long in the back. You might draw your shoulder blades together as you relax your chin down. And then as you're ready, inhale, lift your arms up. And as you exhale, take the hand turn to the inside of the foot. So the first round, keep the back knee down and bring the front foot to the back of your mat, bring your hand to your hip. And as you inhale, make that rainbow shape up and over your head. And as you exhale, slowly take the hand down. Do the same thing on the other side. So the leg extends, hand moves from your hip up and over your head. And then as you exhale, come down. We'll do that twice more just so our body's really got it. Inhale, arm comes up and over. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, hand moves up and over. Exhale down. Last time. Breathing in, take the arm up and over. There's a point at the end where it's just delicious. Exhale down. Inhale, last time, up and over. Exhale down. So you're back on the hands and the knees. And then the next time that you breathe in, your right leg lifts into the air. Lift the tail, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, round the spine, bring the knee to the nose. Twice more, inhale, lift the head, lift the tail. Exhale, round. Maybe keep your pelvis level just for one round, just to see how that feels stable. Exhale, knee to nose. Now draw the right foot into the air, take your hands forward. Start to shift the weight forward into your hands and then lower slowly to the ground. When your legs and everything land, roll your shoulders to come up. And then roll back down again. Opportunity here to completely rest, head on the hand. Or if you like, you can reach your arms back. And this time, maybe lift the arms 
and the legs up as you breathe in. And slowly slide the hands under the shoulders as you breathe out. Press down through the hips, roll the shoulders for cobra. And then tuck the toes for that active child's pose. 